Can you and I lift it up together to show the root system a little bit? That's the roots. Go all the way down to the bottom. Welcome to Hershberger's Miracle Homestead. We invite you to join us every Wednesday and Saturday. Hi, I'm Dorothy and I'm here with our hydroponic tomato plant and there's also a pepper plant and some spearmint tea that we'll show briefly on this video. Um, the tomato plant took a little bit to get started but once it took off it just went crazy. Um, but if the plant is huge and has quite a few tomatoes on now, I was wondering if it was going to give us very many tomatoes or if everything was going to go in the plant. I should have done a little bit of uh, pruning to the plant, I think, and I did not do that. So anyway, but we do have um, some produce now. We have a, here is one that's ready to, to get. Um, there's one up in here that uh, we have a tomato cage that we put on upside down. So it would give the plant some support going up. But uh, here we have quite a few tomatoes on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm excited about that. That uh, here's some more. I think there's a third one back in here to get yet too. So yeah, it is. T tomatoes are a little bit small, but we'll take it. That's why I think I should have pruned it probably. But. Uh, Probably had suckers on it that should have been taken off, but we're learning. <laughs> so anyhow, these are my tomatoes. One thing we need to do on this is check the water level. Um, normally, a pitch five gallon barrel, the water in it is enough for the whole season, but with the way this tomato plant went, um, I'm, we know it needs water. So. Um, Martha's going to be helping me to um, pick up the lid and we measure how much water is in there and see what we do about adding more. Can we kind of lean it back that way? Can. Yeah, I think there you so. Go, we'll have to, or turn it that way a little bit so you can. Okay, all right. Oh, I see a whole bunch of roots. Oh, yes. It's only that much water left in it. So. We don't want to add too much at one time because that would shock the plant. So I had fi uh, fixed a fi five gallon bucket with the water that we put in these and thought we'd add five gallon at a time. Can we lift this up to show the roots? That's the roots. Go all the way down to the bottom. Gap there to put yeah. The water in. Okay. I had fixed the five gallon bucket earlier so that the water was not cold going in. It's been sitting out for a day or two so that it's the same temperature as the water that's in the barrel. And what we do to a five gallon bucket is add one teaspoon of Epsom salt. See if you can see that. One teaspoon of Epsom salt. And we add two teaspoons of calcium nitrate. And that's a 15 and a half zero zero. And then we add master blend for 1838. And this is actually a tomato and vegetable formula, it says. So this is what we use for a five gallon bucket. All done. Thank you. Okay. Now, let's see what that does. Martha's taking a video of the tomato plant.
Okay, beside the tomato plant, we have a pepper plant. We also put a tomato cage upside down to give it support. And um, it has peppers on now too. Uh, they're a little bit small, but um, yeah, I think we need to study and learn a little bit more about how to care for the plants that the produce will be a little bit bigger. But the water level in here is only down about to here. So um, this barrel is, is mighty fine. And then the uh, spearmint tea, if I would let it go, it would, last year it went all down the sides and so forth. It looked very beautiful. But um, over time, the stems would get woody. And to continue harvesting um, tender shoots and so forth, we just cut it off and let new growth come. And uh, so I'm going to be harvesting this again so that we can have a lot of fresh spearmint tea again and then let it come and do its thing. I just learned just to cut it straight across. Poor thing, taking the beauty away. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, we'll take that along in the house with us and have some good spearmint tea again. And just let that grow out. And this is the root system to the pepper plant. Spearmint tea, the water is about down to here too. That You can just pull that one up, yeah. <laughs> There's a Pull it up. <laughs> it's growing on the inside too, not just roots. It's a <laughs> <laughs> oh, that does smell good. It, I know it does. Our Labrador retrievers, Captain Theodore Montgomery, and preachers Miss Juliana Hershey, are expecting a litter of puppies around August the twenty-fourth. They have black and chocolate puppies. And we're very excited about having puppies on the homestead again. For information, go to MiracleHomesteadLabadors.com. Thank you. And now stay tuned for the golden thought. Our brother Buddy was brain damaged at birth. He's epileptic and nonverbal. He's always been a very special part of our family. We included him in the Golden Thought as a way of encouraging anyone who has a special needs person in their life. Recently, we were encouraged to get out of our comfort zone. You know, a comfort zone is a safe place to be, a place that's familiar to us. Uh, we're relaxed. It's, it's comfortable. However, to expand our horizons, to make new friends, to learn new things, we have to be willing to get out of our comfort zone. And sometimes it can be quite uncomfortable. YouTube has definitely been something that got us out of our comfort zone. Um, it's been a very stretching experience. And Martha thought about this for a long time. And I told her that I will support her. I'll help her with content. But if a YouTube channel is to be, it'll be up to her. So it was through Martha's perseverance and determination that a YouTube channel for Hershberger's Miracle Homestead has come to be. And um, we hope that you will be blessed by it. Along with this, there were some sayings that I came across that I really like, and I'll share it with you now. Small steps in the right direction can turn out to be the biggest step of your life. Tiptoe if you must, but take that step. And another one is, if you ask God to direct your steps, you must be willing to move your feet. So do what you need to do to get out of your comfort zone. God has blessings in store for you. Give me that speaker. I didn't know what all Dorothy was going to say there. I might have been the instigator of getting the YouTube channel going, but it's definitely a team effort. 
uh, it's both of us involved in getting the videos together and put together and both of our approvals before they go out. And we are learning as we go. Okay, hang on. I got to take care of first duties first. But he's ready for his nap. No waiting. Just a minute. There you go. Now our buddy deer can catch a nap. Yes, indeedy. <laughs> it blesses our heart when we can see that he's relaxed. Amen. And one thing about out of our comfort zone that was uncomfortable for me is asking people to like and share and subscribe something that we did. But we're doing it because we want our channel to grow, so if you have done that, we thank you for it. And if you've enjoyed this video, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.